On this model, we're going to remove parts of the brain and separate other parts so that we can better locate uh, the uh, position of the ventricles. So, this is the anterior of the brain, and I'm going to remove part of the frontal lobe. And we can see the anterior part of the lateral ventricles. I'm going to remove some more of the brain. Okay, here's the corpus callosum, and here is the rest of the lateral ventricle. Here's its tail coming into its space. This is the insula that's laying on top of the thalamus. So lateral ventricle, lateral ventricle. They flow into the third ventricle. This one is difficult to really picture without looking at a model like this. But it is located between my thumbs right there. Then, remember, the fluid flows through the cerebral aqueduct into the fourth ventricle. And again, this is difficult to envision unless you have a model like this. So the cerebral aqueduct is about the level of my thumb. And right here at the bottom, right where the uh, little divider is, is the fourth ventricle. So from the lateral ventricles to the third, through the aqueduct, to the fourth ventricle, and then on to the cord. The flow then is from the lateral ventricles into the third ventricle, then through the aqueduct, and finally to the fourth ventricle. From the fourth ventricle, the fluid finds its way into the central canal of the cord. In the fourth ventricle, some of the fluid escapes through three openings into the subarachnoid space of the brain. The remainder travels through the cord and leaves the central canal of the cord through an opening in the bottom of it. It there enters into the subarachnoid space of the cord. Remember that cerebral spinal fluid was made from plasma. To remain in fluid balance, cerebral spinal fluid must be returned to blood. It's returned to blood in the superior sagittal sinus through projections from the uh, arachnoid that are called arachnoid villi. The cerebral spinal fluid becomes mixed with blood plasma and becomes part of blood. The little red dots on this model represent the arachnoid villi.